All right, I assume that I'm live. I don't see Benny in the chat just yet. I'll give it another couple seconds, see if anybody decides to join me. I hope that they do. I don't wanna be here by myself. Come on, someone's gotta be hanging around. No, let me tweet it out there. Live now. All right. Well, I guess this is just going to be um, this is just going to be for whomever decides to watch this after. Um, I was hoping some people would come and join me in the chat room, but I don't see anybody there. So uh, I guess I'll just. I don't know. I guess I'll just talk about this figure here. So I have this Soap Studios Arrow figure um that i picked up and i picked it up from um uh, i picked it up from big bad toy store uh most of you guys know i'm a green arrow collector at this point um i don't know big fan of that stuff love checking it out so um did did my feed die i'm confused my feed looks like it died all right um Hey, what's up? Can you hear me okay? Does my audio sound like it's coming through okay? I hope it does. I'm trying a different uh, a different mic tonight. A little bit of a different setup than I've had in the past, so I'm uh, I'm experimenting. It's it's you know it's growing pains. Um, okay, so yeah, so I, I had this um, this figure from Soap Studios. It is a Green Arrow figure. It's an Arrow figure from season one. And earlier this week, I teased this on the podcast as what I am calling the, um, it's what I am calling the worst, uh, one of the worst arrow figures I have ever seen. Um, it's freaking terrible. And so I wanted to do an unboxing and I wanted to talk a little bit about it, um, here on the show. Uh, of course, the fact that I'm by myself right now, not entirely very exciting, but Maybe someone will check this out on the back end. So um, here we are. I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna. I'm gonna take this guy. Give it a. Give it, give it a crack open. Again, Soap Studios put this out in conjunction with DC and the CW. Um, it is a one twelfth scale figure, but it is not a one twelfth figure from Mezco. <clears throat> Packaging is pretty simple. It's a simple blister box, uh, simple blister package. Um, if you want to just take a look at the the rest of the box here, um, you know it kind of goes over some of the stuff that it comes with. Um, Twenty seven points of articulation, realistic cloth fabric. Um, it comes with a bow and six arrows, a figure display stand, multiple hands, and other stuff. So. Why am I calling this the worst arrow figure I've ever seen? The paint job looks sloppy. Um, the paint job looks very soft and it's kind of hard to tell with this blister over it. So I'm gonna crank that blister off and I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of what it looks like. If I can figure out how to get the blister off, there it is. Mm. 
why is this blister not coming off? It's not even taped down. Oh, there it goes. All right, so this is a, the special edition of the figure, which I don't know what the special edition of the figure means. Um, it doesn't mean it's any better, that's for sure. Can you guys see that? Is it, is it clear enough to sort of see? I know the camera's not focusing very well on him. Maybe if I maybe if I show him over here. He's he stinks. <laughs> um the first of all, he has no mass to his body at all. He's kind of lanky and goofy looking. Um and second of all, the Oh nice. I changed the um, I changed the cameras around. Al and I uh, I changed the audio around too because I noticed when I went to the replay last night the audio was really bad or was it was low for the replay it sounded okay during the main but it was low for the replay so um, so yeah so Stope Studios put out this figure um, I think they have a line of figures from DC um, it does have some sort of real feel kind of fabric for the costuming. Um, it looks like some of it is hand stitched or stitched by machine. Um, let's see, does it have a working zipper or is the zipper just, is the zipper just crappy? Uh, the zipper looks like it wants to work, but it does not work. It's got a generic body underneath. It's nothing really too magical or special. Um, but the paint features on the face are just so sloppy. Like it looks like someone tried to airbrush some sort of facial hair on him. Um, and they failed. They, they, they failed miserably. Like it's, it's, it's really bad. I wish that camera would focus a little bit better, but it's, it's really bad. I mean, it looks like someone flung poo at him. If I'm being quite honest, um, the articulation's okay. The joints and the ankles are a little bit loose, but it's not bad. The hands are okay. So I guess he's okay to play with. We take a look at some of his accessories that he comes with. Uh, first of all, he comes with this quiver. Here, you guys can see this. Um, it's almost like a purplish color, which I don't understand. Like, I don't understand why you would give Green Arrow a purple quiver. Like, to me, that makes no sense. Um, it has Velcro on it to attach to his body, I'm assuming. But there's nothing for it to attach to. So I'm not quite sure how he wears it. Um... Oh, I see. Um, so the packaging says it comes with 27 points of articulation. And this was an expensive figure too. It was like 60 or 70 bucks. Now, 70 bucks, I pay that for a Mezco figure um, for the 112 collection figures. And those figures are um, worth 70 bucks. This, not so much. So the Velcro that's on this tiny little, the Velcro that's on this tiny little quiver back here, it, it doesn't stick very well, but I guess you could, Let's see, can we actually get it around his body and under the hood? I think we can. It's hard to do this while on camera, but let's see if we can get it going. It feels like it's not quite long enough to actually work. I really wish I could return this figure, but two reasons, I can't. I don't think Big Bad Toy Store allows returns. Um, and I also have the disease where it's a Green Arrow figure and so I have to have it in my collection but I'm, I'm just not, I'm not in love with this figure. Like at all, like at all. Uh, can I get the Velcro to stick? I can't even get the Velcro to freaking stick to, to keep the quiver on him. So there, look, that's what that quiver kind of looks like if you get it to stick to his back. Again, it's just not, it, look, he's got no mass, man. He's got no muscle mass. This is the smallest, this, this green arrow could not do the salmon ladder. All right, let's take a look at his bow. All right, so the paint on the bow is pretty nice. Um, the string actually is elastic, so it is not just a plain piece of string. It is not a piece of fishing line. The only problem I have with this being a plain piece of um, elastic is that um, over time, that will dry rot and probably break. Luckily, it looks like it's just loosely knotted over two small grooves that are cut into the top of the bow, so you could restring it if you have to. Um, I guess they don't give him out of the package bow hand, which why would you not give Green Arrow his bow hand? Why would you give him one of these freaking ninja hands? I don't even know how to package their Green Arrow figures right. These guys suck. You know what these remind me of? Um, 
I actually just sold mine recently, but there's a company out there called, I can barely hear you when you face the mic, when you turn to the second camera, almost nothing. All right, sorry, Terry. It's, uh, it's, it's a work in progress. You know, I could fix that though now. Hold on one sec. I could fix that real quick. Watch this. I switched mics from last night because the mic I had last night, I felt like I wasn't picking up anything at all. So I went to a better mic tonight. So, if I do that, is that a little bit better? Does that sound a little bit better now? When I'm when I'm when I'm over here, it's hard getting the two cameras to work together, um, and and also trying to use a display space to show what I'm doing with the figure. But um, so there's a company out there called the Good Smile Company, and they put out figures. They were they were sort of a a competitor to um, SH Figure Arts. And Figure Arts, um, Figure Arts, all right, so I have to play around with camera location for the next couple of, for the next couple of shows. I need to get a Blue Yeti, something that I could put on a small stand in front of me. Um, it'll be a lot easier, but for tonight, I'll make, I'll make it work. So, um, so Good Smile Company put out these figures and they were supposed to be like the Bandai Figure Arts figures, which were pretty cool, um, pretty expensive. But when you bought a Bandai figure, you knew what you were getting. You were getting a quality figure, um, and it was uh, it was easy to work with. And uh, the articulation was great. The accessories were great. The base was great. Everything was really cool. Um, Good Smile comes along and tries to put out their version of the figures, and they suck. They fall. The articulation is loose. Um, they don't stand even on a base. They're terrible. So my first criticism of this figure is I cannot actually get the second hand to stay on the peg for the, for the hand. I removed the hand that was there because it came with a hand that was not meant to hold a bow. And how do you have a green arrow figure that doesn't hold a bow? And oh, I think I finally got it after much futzing and finagling, I think I finally got it. So maybe we can actually get the bow in his hand. So Good Smile puts out these toys, right? And they're hunks of garbage, like pieces of shit. Um, I actually sold my Samus toy. I was so excited to have her because it was zero suit um, Samus. So it was the blue suit. Oh no, I'm sorry, I didn't have zero suit. I had the, um, I had full armored Samus. Um, and it came, dude, the freaking, all right, this thing's a piece of shit. So here you go, here's the review. This figure is a piece of shit from Soapbox Studios. I don't know that I can actually display him with a bow in his hand. I don't even know that I can display him with two hands. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna kitbash this figure into Dark Knight Green Arrow and just remove the arm. I'm just gonna cut it off at the elbow and remove the arm. This figure is a piece of crap. If I could fling this across the room right now, I would. I, I mean, it's it's terrible. I, the, nothing stays. All right, let's, let's, let's look at the other accessories that we can actually get access to. Uh, all right. So the arrows, the arrows that it comes with, it comes with a few standard size arrows here. I'll try to put it on my hand. They're pretty flimsy, um, which is what I'm used to as a green arrow collector. The arrows are normally pretty flimsy. It looks like they pretty much replicated the arrows that DC puts out with all of their figures. They do have the green and the yellow, um, notch on the back, like he does in the show in that first season. So I guess the detail on those is okay. The paint job is okay. It comes with these little tiny arrows. I'm not sure what these are for. Are these those little tiny arrows that he sometimes wears on his wrist? Or are these throwing arrows? What are what are these tiny little arrows? I guess they go in this little belt pouch on the side here. Um, I guess they're okay too. They're just smaller versions of the regular arrows. Um... Let's see. It also comes with a base, which, I mean, if the loose ankle joints are any indication of what we have to deal with, um, we're probably going to need the base to display him. The base is pretty simple. It's a plain black base. It's got an arrow logo on it, and it just says uh, it just says arrow in the front there. Can I get that to focus? There you go. So, yeah, they must be melee arrows. They're the ones that he would just jab into someone's face. The post... Is this it? Please tell me this isn't it. Oh, okay, no, good. So, all right, so the base comes with uh, just a fairly generic black stick, which will plug into the base. And then it also comes with 
um, one of those grippy claws that goes on top so you can grab him by the waist and properly display him. Um, I got to tell you, the, the, the joints on the grippy claws are better than the joints on the figure itself. Like that actually would hold a figure. Sometimes these figures come um, and you, you, you legit can't do anything with them because um, the, the base doesn't actually grab anything. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna get this goddamn. I'm gonna get this goddamn freaking hand to stay. So, guys out there, you guys are collectors too. I know some of you are. Um, what do you guys collect? What do, do you have a passion? And if you have a passion, have you ever bought a toy from your passion line or from your favorite character that was an utter piece of crap, an utter piece of garbage that you couldn't do anything with, that you regretted buying almost instantly? Someone's got to have something out there. Nick, you've got a pretty good collection. All right, so what is one of the best Arrow figures? If we're talking straight up figures, um, right now, uh, DC has some really, really good ones that they have put out in the past. The Longbow Hunters figure and the Brightest Day figures are great. Um, and if you give me a second, I can actually, I might be able to grab those off the shelf. Um, if you're going for a stylized 112 scale figure, the Mezco Green Arrow figure um, is great. If you want just Arrow from the TV show, um, DC Collectibles also probably puts out the best Arrow. There's a lot of good statues out there. Icon Studios puts out some statues um, that are always really good. But as far as just like six inch figures go, DC um, or Mezco is the way to go. Love my hot toys. Are we solid? Yeah. Okay. So hot toys are, I mean, hot toys are really plastic statues. You know, they're articulated statues. They're, they're really well done. Um, but you pay, you know, you pay 200 bucks for a hot toys piece, um, you know, distributed by sideshow hot toys has not done a green arrow figure or an arrow figure or a canary or a speedy that I know of. Um, sideshow finally has a, quarter scale green arrow coming later next year which looks beautiful um and i can grab i i have that coming to me um and i got the sideshow um black canary figure last year as well uh the premium format so um let me i'm gonna i'm gonna put you guys on hold for just one second i'm gonna see if i can grab a better figure off the shelf from the arrow collection that's really solid and really good so just give me one sec All right, I'm back. So um, again, you specifically asked what was um, Arrow, a good Arrow figure. This is a season one, um, or I'm sorry, this might be season two. So this is a season two DC Collectibles Arrow figure, right? Now look at the two of them side by side. If you can see the two of them side by side, right? I mean, this this is the Soap Studios one. This is the DC one. So the DC one does not have real leather clothing, right? Everything is sculpted and everything is painted on. However, it this thing weighs uh, just a few ounces. This guy weighs at least a pound, right? He's got some real heft to him. It's some real solid plastic. Um, the quiver is all black. It's, 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 it's painted really well. The arrows are painted really well. Um, the, the face sculpt is not soft. Right, you could see the details of the nose and the mouth. You could actually see his goatee when he had the the poorly shaded goatee. Right, this I mean this this looks like it was printed. Um, I don't know. It, it it looks like it was probably digitally sculpted. 
um, and then printed, but everything on it is soft. The features are all soft. The paint is soft. Yeah, it's great that it has real feel clothing, but even just, just look at the, and, and these are supposed to be the same scale, by the way, right? So even just look at, first of all, look at the height difference for two figures out of the same scale, right? Can you, can you, can you, I know it's hard to see, but I mean, if I put them down next to each other, he's, he's a, you know, a good chunk taller and look at how thin he is. This is like emaciated Ollie. This is like just came off the island and found some green leather shit in a bag by the shore Ollie. This is garbage Ollie. This Ollie does not deserve a spot on my shelf. He will be buried in the way back somewhere. He'll be on the lower shelf with the end friends section of the toys. That piece of, that figure is a piece of garbage. Remind me never to buy anything else from Soap Studio. So this is DC. He's got some real heft to him. Again, nothing is nothing is real. You don't have that real fake leather, no actual zippers, nothing is stitched, but the details are spot on. The paint is great. The shading is great. It's got some real uh, heft. It's, 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 it's great. The, the mask on this one is the actual mask. If you remember in season one of Arrow, he wasn't doing the mask yet. He was doing that, like that paint stuff sort of thing. He kind of just had like the green line that he painted across his face. That's what you have going on on that soapbox studio arrow. Um, exactly. It's like Toy Story 3 and Lotso. All right. Now, arrow figures, not based on any particular design. Took a lot of, um, this figure takes a lot from, um, new 52 arrow with some of the armor on the legs and arms. Um, it takes some feeling from the first injustice game with the style of the tunic and the hood. He has the compound bow, not a traditional bow. He's got the armored quiver with a handful of arrows in it. This is the Mezco figure. Right? This is the Mezco 112 Collective Arrow figure. So I bought this figure for, I think, less than the Soapbox Studios figure when all is said and done. So you mean to tell me that that figure is worth the same as this figure? You're out of your mind. And I know some of you guys are not Green Arrow fans and you're like, well, who cares? So the purpose of me doing this review was less to just complain um, Dude, it feels like a bootleg. So th the purpose of this is not just to complain about a Green Arrow figure, because I know not everybody is into Green Arrow the same way that I am into Green Arrow. I get that. But I want this to be a warning to figure collectors to be careful what you pay for. So the Soapbox Studio, when it was solicited, it looked great. It looked really good in the pictures. I didn't get to see the figure in hand. It wasn't at Toy Fair when I was at Toy Fair. So I went based on the promotional photos that were up online i don't blame big bad big bad toy store was using the photos that they were provided but when the figure arrived in the mail i was so mad and you know i have another i have a very good friend of mine um whose also name is matt um and he is also a huge green arrow collector the two of us bust each other's chops all the times about who has the better collection it's me um but uh but he got it first he got it a day before me and he just sent me a picture with like an ug and a sad face. And so I knew, but I was like, well, I'm still looking at Matt's photos. And Matt's a great photographer. He takes some great product photos. So I'm like, I'm still looking at Matt's photos. Maybe when I get it in hand. And as soon as I saw it in the box, I was just, I was super disappointed and super sad because I just, I don't, I don't understand who, who, who makes this. And who puts, who lets this leave the studio and who charges what they charge that you're essentially paying for the fake leather clothing with this figure. Cause you're not paying for the sculpt. You're not paying for the articulation. You're not paying for the accessories. It's garbage. This figure is garbage. So if you're a collector and you buy a lot of different characters from different lines, I would recommend staying away from soap studio. Soap Studio. This is their 112 line. This is FG002 is the number of this piece. It's a piece of crap. And I can only imagine if this one is a piece of crap, their other figures will be a piece of crap. So, so still, someone has to tell me. 
I know Monty, I know Nick, you have great Hot Toys figures, but you have to have a clunker. You're a Spider-Man collector. You've got to have a clunker somewhere in your Spider-Man collection that is just terrible and awful and um, and not worth its weight in gold. So tell me. Speak to me. Let me know. Al, you're not a huge collector, I know. Terry, how about you? Do you have any do you have any figures in your collection that are awful and terrible? I want to know. Whoever else is in the chat room, there's five of you in there. Don't just stare at me. That's rude. And you have a half an hour until Critical Role comes on. So I know I'm not taking away from any of Critical Role watching. You know. I mean, if you guys don't have anything else to share, I'm going to have to go because I'm not just going to talk to myself. That would be weird and awkward. All right. Fine. I'm just going to sit here and you guys are going to painfully watch me try to put this put this this bow in this dude's hand. I am I am going to get it. By hook or by crook, I'm going to get it. Let's see. So it's got to go like this. It's got to Nope. Nope. All right. I'm going to put the bow in the hand first. Bow in the hand first. How about that? Bow in the hand first, maybe? Something? Anybody? Nothing? All right. Fine, guys. Well, then, I guess that's going to be my stream for tonight. Like I said, I just wanted to do a quick unboxing for you guys. Um, thank you for checking out. Um, Thursday nights are going to be my regular stream night. I think next Thursday will be more crafting. Um, I'm going to be finishing up some snow terrain, and I'm going to make a... Um, I'm going to start working on a, what's it called? On a dice tray, I think. So that'll be next Thursday. Um, I'm going to try to do next Wednesday as well. I haven't decided what the context of next Wednesday is going to be, but if you guys have suggestions, I'm open for suggestions. If there's something you want to hear about last night's stream was really fun. We had a lot of fun talking about the Hellboy trailer and about um, into the spider verse. So maybe we'll do some more, something like that. Um, but again, if you guys have something you want to hear me talk about, let me know. Um, and I guess that's it. So if I don't talk to you before Christmas, who knows? Maybe I'll decide to stream again this weekend. If I don't talk to you before Christmas, though, or the, or your holidays, if you don't c celebrate Christmas, I guess Merry, uh, ha Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. You gave all your clunker toys away to your nephew? Well, that was smart. That was a smart thing of you to do. See, I have that disease where I can't get rid of certain things. Like, I have some clunker Spider-Man toys, too. I have some real clunker black canary toys have you guys ever seen the black canary toy that looks like she should be a cenobite like she she belongs in the hellraiser films do you guys want to see what is possibly the worst black canary figure ever made i can show it to you i could pull her off the shelf if you guys are interested if you're not i'll just i'll just go cry myself to sleep for the rest of the evening before i go to work tomorrow for my final day before my holiday break <clears throat> Well, look, I got the bow in there. I had to, uh, I had to put it in his hand first, and then, um, and then put the hand on there. There's no other way to do it. Where did that stand go? Where are you stand here? I'll put it in the stand. Putting it in the stand is probably going to be the easiest way to put it on the shelf anyway. So I might as well just get. I might as well just do it, right? Just do it. That's what we say. Do, 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 do. Okay, I just noticed this. I don't know if this is me. I got to show this to you guys. Can you guys see his... Can, can, you, can you see his feet? I think they gave him two right feet. I think this Soapbox Studios figure has two right feet. What the hell? Crap. All right, Monty, you want, uh, Nick, you want to see it? Hold on. I keep on calling you Monty, and I know who you are. It makes me feel like a dope. Hold on a second. I'm going to get this awful figure. Prepare yourself. If you're afraid of scary things, I'm going to recommend looking away now. Hold on one sec. All right, this figure I'm about to show you is what if Black Canary was in Hellraiser and was a Cenobite? Are you ready? Are you sure? 
Can you see her? Let's see. I can't get her to be on the camera without focusing. Hold on. Let's see. Is she, is she, is she, is she in there? Can you see her in there? Is it, is it, is it working? Is she haunting your nightmares? Is she looking into your soul? Let's see here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to move my camera real quick and see if I can get a better shot of her if I do it this way. That's it. I mean, what, what is this? This, this is Black Canary. What, what, what is this? What is, what is this crap? It looks like. It looks like. It looks like Dolph Lundgren doing a gender bend black canary. This is terrible. It, it, it looks like a reject from Battlestar Galactica. It, it looks like. I mean, her eyes are too close together. She does. She looks she looks like a she looks Russian. This is like this is like Black Widow Black Canary. This is Natasha Canary. This is this this figure this figure is in the way back on my shelf. On the Black Canary Green Arrow shelf, she's in the way back. She doesn't have uh she doesn't have a front row center seat because she is she is filled with hot garbage. The sculpt on her is so bad. So bad. Um, yeah, no, this, this thing is crap. So yeah, so I have clunkers in my collection. I keep them cause it's a disease, but I didn't pay a lot for her. I only paid two bucks for her. This other one I paid 60 bucks for. All right, guys. Well, unless you have anything else you want to chat about, I think I'll probably bounce for the night. I know it was only about a half an hour, but, um, I do appreciate the ones that were chatting with me. I do appreciate anybody that was hanging out. Uh, I apologize if it's not the best. I'm still working on this. This is actually only my third full stream now. So I'm still working out some of the kinks technology-wise. I'm still trying to get mic placement down properly. Um, but um, but yeah, thank you guys for hanging out with me. Um, again, if you have any ideas or things that you want to hear me talk about, I'm open for suggestion. Please just let me know. Um, otherwise I will either see you this weekend or early next week. I'm not quite sure what we're going to do yet, but we're going to find something to stream. So thank you guys again. I will catch you later. Be well. Peace out.